The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoy Fort, Chapter 17c. According to our religion, if he had then given all his time to the maintaining of this one stand, of course breaking all friendships, all ties with his fellow astronomers, his apotheosis would have occurred, greatly assisted by means well known to quasi-existence when its compromises and evasions, and phenomena that are partly this and partly that, are flouted by the definite and uncompromising. It would be impossible in the real existence, but Mr. Russell, of quasi existence, says that he did resist the conviction that he had said that one could hardly resist, and most of his resentment is against Mr. Proctor's thinking that he had not resisted. It seems too bad if apotheosis be desirable. The point in intermediatism here is not that to adapt to the conditions of quasi existence is to have what is called success in quasi existence, but is to lose one's soul. But is to lose one's chance of attaining soul, self, or entity. One indignation quoted from Proctor interests us. What happens on the moon may at any time happen to this earth. Or, that is just the teaching of this department of advanced astronomy. That Russell and Hearst saw the sun eclipsed relatively to the moon by a vast dark body. That many times have eclipses occurred relatively to this earth, by vast, dark bodies. That there have been many eclipses that have not been recognized as eclipses by scientific kindergartens. There is a merger, of course. We'll take a look at it first, that, after all, it may have been a shadow that Hearst and Russell saw, but the only significance is that the sun was eclipsed relatively to the moon by a cosmic haze of some kind, or a swarm of meteors close together, or a gaseous discharge left behind by a comet. My own acceptance is that vagueness of shadow is a function of vagueness of intervention, that a shadow as dense as the shadow of this earth is cast by a body denser than hazes and swarms. The information seems definite enough in this respect, quite as dark as the shadow of the earth during an eclipse of the moon.